when the war started, they said it would be over by Christmas. There's no chance of that. On my first day in the trench, the first thing I was told was not to put my head up over the parapet, to look into no man's land, because I was told I'd be shot by a German sniper. Many men were killed on their first day doing this. Every day there would be shelling and gunfire, which killed and injured many men. As well as this, we're also subjected to illness and disease. There were millions of brown and black rats all through the trenches, and the brown rats were the worst, some of them as big as cats. Some men said that the rats sensed when heavy enemy fire was due, because they would disappear from view. Then one day, the feared gas attack came. German gas is heavier than air, and soon fills the trenches and dugouts where it has been known to lurk for two to three days. I do not sympathise with these rats in a gas attack. I quickly put on my gas, or smoke helmet, as it's called. At the best, it is a vile smelling thing, and not long before I get a violent headache from wearing it. All of a sudden, my head seemed to burst from a loud crack in my ear. Then my head began to swim, throat got dry and a heavy pressure on the lungs. My helmet was leaking. A friend of mine gave me a hand to try and seal the leak that was causing the pain. I felt that the trench started to wind like a snake and the sandbags appeared to be floating in the air. The noise was horrible. Needles seemed to be pricking my flesh, then just blackness. One of my mates woke me by taking off the smoke helmet and cool, fresh air went into my lungs. A strong wind came and dispersed the gas. Going over the top into no man's land was a very frightening experience, but it had to be done, and many men were killed, and there were many acts of bravery. One day, the lads went over the top, and the officer was shot and injured. Most of the unit made it back to our trench, except our officer and a soldier who stayed to guard him. The soldier stayed for hours with the injured officer in no man's land while the Germans shot at them. By some miracle, the soldier eventually managed to drag the wounded officer back to the trench. A couple of days later, together with other men, I was ordered over the top. The whistle blew and over we went the sound of heavy shelling, gunfire and explosions. That's all I remembered. <laughs>